So, my, my good morning. My name is Patrick. Uh, I'm doing uh, a presentation on Patricia Ben, who is one of the theorists in nursing. From uh, novice to expert theory by Patricia Ben. Okay. So, uh, I'll look at uh, her personal or family history, education, uh, professional backgrounds, contribution to nursing, and the factors influencing uh, development of the theory. Okay, so personal and family uh, history. Uh, Patricia was born Patricia Sawyer in August 31st, 1942 in Hampton, Virginia. Her parents and her two sisters moved to California when she was a child. Whilst she was in high school, her parents divorced. So she decided to become a nurse whilst working in the hospital admitting department during college. Uh, she was married to Richard Benner and had two children. For her education, she had her associate degree in nursing and bachelor's degree from Pasadena City College in 1964. Uh, she had a master's degree in nursing at the University of California, San Francisco, in 1970. She had her PhD in University of California, Berkeley, in 1982. Uh, she has a professional background. She gained a clinical experience in acute uh, message, a critical care, and home health. She was also a postgraduate nurse researcher at the University of California, San Francisco. Upon completion of the PhD, uh, she accepted a position as a, a nursing professor, a professor at the University of California, San Francisco. And that's where she taught and then retired from full-time teaching in 2008. She made a lot of contributions that was uh, nursing. She, first of all, she was a nurse. She was a nurse theorist. Uh, she was a nurse educationalist or academia, academic. Uh, she was an author too, who wrote a lot of books. One of them is From Novice to Expert, Excellence and Power in Critical Nursing Care. To talk about the influencing factors, which is related to the development of the theory, she was influenced by uh, different factors. Uh, one of them was by the works of Virginia Henderson and two, Herbert Dreyfus, who introduced her to phenomenology. Uh, she was also influenced by Stunt and Herbert Dreyfus' model of skill acquisition. She got inspiration from that. And then also she also got inspiration or other factors from uh, many philosophers. Uh, Jane Webber's scholarship and teaching also influenced her uh, theory development. Uh, Richard Lazarus, who mentored her in the field of stress and coping, is also one of the influencing factors related to the development of her theory. We have Jane Webber, who was a co-worker, a co-author in the area of caring practices for many years also influenced her theory a lot now uh, the purpose of her theory uh, is that uh, nurses they develop skills and understanding of patient's care over time through a sound educational base and multiple experiences it means for nurses uh, to really get experience or to understand patient care, it takes time before they can develop that. And then also they need more experience. So somebody who has been a nurse for five years as compared to a nurse, a new graduate, the nurse with experience will have more understanding of patient care than the new one it also helps with the uh, 
the nurse administrators the nurse managers when they are allocating nurses for example an experienced nurse will do better job in the icu as compared to a brand new uh, nurse so the scope of her theory covers a whole range of things uh, one of the it covers perceptual acuity clinical judgment skills acquisition ethical comportment and the experimental experiment share learning uh, the origin of this theory comes from different uh, angles one of them is uh, it's originated from from nothing girls original uh, work and then coupled with coupled with a uh, drill force model of skills acquisition uh, help her uh, to come up with uh, this uh, theory and then it is a philosophy philosophical ideas uh, that she put together uh, to form this theory thank you Number.